you know, my sources were eventually gonna be wrong. You happy, Kyle? You happy? The 2020 NFL Draft has ended and it was the highest viewed draft of all time. There's really no surprise there. So let's talk about it right now. I'm not gonna go into every pick. I'll just name some stuff, whatever, we'll see. First pick, Joe Burrow, Bengals. Look at the mask with my boy. Joe Burrow, Athens legend, swagger. When your sources are right every single time, they're statistically gonna be wrong at some point. So, I mean, I guess this is when they're wrong. Chase Young, no surprise. Jeff Okuda's no surprise either, but people thought maybe the Lions could have traded down and got him. I don't know. I don't know if any team was gonna deal with them. The Giants taking Andrew Thomas was kind of a surprise. Like, I know he's gonna be good. I said he would be good, even though I don't know anything about offensive linemen. But I thought he would drop to the Browns. I thought he wasn't the best in the class, even though I don't know anything. That's just me reading things, you know? I know I'm not the only one that was surprised. Y'all were surprised too. Two to the Dolphins, so I mean, not Jalen Hurts at five, I guess. A little off on that. We'll talk about Jalen Hurts right now and the Eagles. So the Eagles with Jalen Hurts is interesting. I get what they're trying to do. They want to do the Taysom Hill thing like what the Saints do, which it could work. Jalen Hurts, you know, showed promise at Oklahoma and Alabama and Carson Wentz gets hurt all the time. So not a bad backup, but I thought the second round was pretty high. I don't know. I feel like I was reading he could have gone the third round easily. So I thought taking him the second round was pretty high. And then Jalen Rager in the first round. I mean, I don't know. I didn't watch many TCU games. So I don't fucking know if he's going to be good or not. I just thought they were going to take Justin Jefferson. I think everyone thought that. So that was an interesting pick. But I'm not the one to say he's going to be good or bad. I can't say if he's going to be amazing. I didn't watch really many TCU games. So I have no idea. It was still... Pretty interesting though, that they didn't take Justin Jefferson. I know a lot of people are pissed off about that. Another interesting pick that I can't really judge yet is Jordan Love of the Packers. I mean, I, I take it back. I do understand why it's dumb because you do want to give Aaron Rodgers weapons. He's not done yet. You still have to use him in the window that he has because you could win a Super Bowl with him. But then part of me sees what they did with Aaron Rodgers when Brett Favre was still playing. So I get it. I just can't judge the pick because I didn't watch any fucking Utah State games. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't watch Jordan Love play, I don't think, one time last year. So I can't judge if he's gonna be good or not. I'm seeing stats that he wasn't like the best quarterback in his conference. So that is a little interesting, but I, I don't know. I didn't see the guy play, so I have no idea if he's gonna be good or not. I just think the Packers should have got Aaron Rodgers some more help, draft a receiver, because Aaron Rodgers is still really good. You can still win a Super Bowl with him. So I don't know. Whatever the order of receivers that went was interesting speaking of receivers like I know Henry Ruggs is the fastest and Oakland always takes the fastest guys But it was just interesting because I thought Jerry Judy and CD lamb were clearly the two best and I thought one of those two would go first My order was all fucked up. I did not expect that the Cowboys honestly got a steal with CD lamb to be honest And Jerry Judy the Broncos is gonna be good, too. I'm not saying Henry Ruggs is gonna be bad for the Raiders I just think he's gonna be the least productive out of those three. Or maybe I'm just getting too wrapped up in the mock drafts. I don't know. I was just surprised by that. Justin Herbert to the Chargers. I mean, I, I don't know much about Justin Herbert either. I just remember he could have gone in the draft last year and been a first round pick. And this year he didn't play bad at Oregon. He just wasn't anything spectacular. So I don't know. I mean, it can maybe work out. I'm not going to judge that really. And then let's get to the Browns because I think the Browns did a fucking awesome job. Let's go. Edrick Wills, let's go. Let's go. I thought he would be the best offensive lineman in this draft, even though I've said many times I can't judge offensive linemen, but I'm just going off the simple premise that he was the best offensive lineman at Alabama, and Alabama always has great offensive linemen. So that was just my philosophy behind it, and we somehow got him, and I'm so happy. He looks like he's going to be our franchise left tackle. Whew. Grant Delpit, I think, is going to be really good, too. He was a great safety at LSU. He had some problems with tackling. I'll say that. But he's great in coverage. And if he works on that tackling, I think he's going to be really fucking good. So, of course, the Browns have had another fantastic draft. They've never had a bad draft. Yeah, so I think that's really all I want to talk about with the draft. I can't think of any crazier picks on the top of my head. There's probably someone big that I'm completely forgetting. And 
I'm going to edit this video and you know, look on ESPN or something and be like, fuck me, I should have talked about that. But overall, I thought it was a good draft. And I think they did a good job with the whole virtual aspect of it. It did get a little weird, but there's nothing much they can do. And I'm not surprised it was their most viewed draft ever. I mean, what else are we watching? Let's be honest. So what do you guys think of the draft this year? Please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click here to see more of Davey Dave Sticks.